Now the next main area of the interface are the ribbons. Now if you remember from a few minutes ago when we were talking about the three roles in Authora, the author role, the designer role, and the administrator role, and then you take a look at the names of these ribbons, then it suddenly becomes apparent what is going on here. The author ribbon has all of the functions that an author would primarily perform. The design ribbon has those objects that a designer would generally be working with. And the manage ribbon has more administrative tasks associated with it. Then we've got two additional ribbons by function, the import ribbon. This is where you would go to import content into the library. We'll be talking about importing in a separate module, but if you see an icon associated with that output format, then we can import it into AuthorIt, basically. And then here we have our publishing ribbon. This is one of four different ways to publish a book from AuthorIt is from this publishing ribbon. Now if I had a book selected, select a book here, then my output formats would become available to me. As soon as I click off of a book, then those objects are disabled or grayed out here. So in case you're wondering, hey Kendra, why, why are my buttons grayed out here? It's because you actually have to have a book selected. Because we'll find in a few moments that when you publish something from author, what you are publishing is a book. You can't just publish a file object or a topic. You have to publish a book. Okay. Now, these ribbons are actually collapsible. If you double-click on them, give you more room on the screen if you want to. 